Hello fellow modelers, Lionel MPC and post-war collectors. Uh, I just thought I'd do a video here. This is another sealed uh, Lionel train set I'm going to open here. Uh, this one's still sealed from 1978. Never been opened. So, uh, I kind of hate opening these sealed sets. It's like sacrilege, you know. It's just... Ugh, kind of drives me crazy, but I tell you what, you've got to open these sets and run them and have fun with them. That's what they were meant for. This locomotive needs its time to shine. Just like my Chessie Royal Limited, you guys have seen. I just uploaded the videos of me opening it. But anyways, this is gonna be pretty fun here. I'll do a. I might have to do this in two separate videos. I'm not sure, but i'll do this opening video here and then i might do another video of the set running so you guys stay tuned for that video unless i can get it all in one video which i doubt but anyways let's unbox this uh 1978 lionel service station set from 1978 it's still sealed and this is the minneapolis and st louis so this is on. This is about one of the first service station sets. Uh, this may be like the second or third one made, I think. I don't know, but it's a really nice set. It's got some good cars with it. You know, it's got the white. Uh, it's a remake of a post war one circus like cattle car, Lionel lines, and it's got the Minneapolis St. Louis hopper. Uh, it's got a tank car, Seneca, I believe. Yeah, three dome tank car. And it's got the uh, Minneapolis St. Louis Bay Window Caboose to complete the set. And the Minneapolis St. Louis DP9. I tell you, this set right here has some of the coolest colors on a train set, too. But, anyways, let me open it up here. And, uh, well, I tell you, I just love this MPC stuff. I love MPC. That's some of my favorite trains. I've got a pretty big collection now of MPC, too. But, uh, man, I just love MPC stuff. Anyways, let's get this set open here. It's already a, it, it's never been open. It's just somebody's held it by this flap at one, one point what happened. But. All right, here it goes. Oh, I hate doing this. It'll never be sealed again. Let's see if it has that smell, 1978 smell to it. Man, don't y'all just love that smell when you open these sealed train sets? It's kind of neat. Well, I can get, the, get my exacto in there. Oh, they really put the tape on this one. Can get it cut here. Okay. The deed is done. She is now open. Boy, it's amazing all that set fits in this tiny little box. That is crazy. So, like, what is it? One, two, three, four. So, five cars and a GP7 locomotive fit in this tiny little box. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, this set number, if you guys are interested in purchasing them on or something, it's a uh, 6-1868 SS service station. But, uh, alright, let's open it up here. Boy, this is the fun part. This is the part I like right here. Oh, sorry, I missed a piece of tape here. Yeah, you gotta have fun with this stuff, man. You know, you, you gotta run it. You gotta run it. And what better than buy sealed sets? Because, I mean, you know you're going to get a nice new locomotive that's not been run a lot. Or at all, for that matter. You know, a little bit of oil and grease on these. And these things, they usually, they'll run forever. I will leave that Royal Limited, man. And that, I tell you, that engine runs awesome. And that chassis set. I just uploaded recently. But, anyways. Alright. Piece of cardboard here. Okay, the first thing we see here is a GP9, Minneapolis St. Louis. Well, you can tell it's old. Look at that old label. God, I love doing this. I love opening these sealed sets. To me, it's fun. I love doing it. I'm going to get more. So you guys will see a lot more uh, sealed set openings. Anyways, let's pull this locomotive out here. Alright, here's the locomotive. 
Man, that is nice. Look at the colors on that. Red, white, and blue. You can't get no better than that. That is a pretty locomotive right there. The Peoria Gateway, 8866. Like I said, I'll do a video of this running too. Uh, it's probably going to be a separate video, but I love their printing too. They put on these boxes, man. It's so cool. Boy, they just, their, their stuff these days ain't even like this. Boy, it's just time's gone by. Things just ain't like this anymore. These boxes are so cool. Look at all those engines you could have got back then. Boston and Maine. Man. Awesome. There's some accessories on the back there. Sorry, it's turned around backwards. But Anyways, I think you can get just this locomotive. I'm pretty sure you can and the cars, but... I mean, you wouldn't have the set box, but still, though. The number on this engine is 6-8866. So, let's set this out of the way here somewhere. Well, not right there. Not far. So, I'm set it up here with my display case here. Yeah, I set my chassis and my Joshua Lionel Cowan box car in there. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, I want to get that whole set, the Joshua Lionel Cohen set. It's got a little MPC Hudson. I, I think it's a neat set. Anyways, let's pull this uh, cardboard out here. I don't know if that's made in there. Or... Okay, there we go. All right. Now I see how they packed it in there. Wow, that's crazy. So they packed all this in that little box. Anyways. There's one of the cars, a Minneapolis and St. Louis Hopper car, four bay Hopper. Yeah, I've got all those cars right there, the tobacco cars. I've got all nine. I've always wanted those. I finally ended up getting all nine of those cars, and I'm going to be doing a video on all those running too, the tobacco cars. So that'll be coming tomorrow. I'll upload it tomorrow. You guys stay tuned for that one. I'm going to do a tobacco train. So 92.13, I'm guessing somebody wrote that on there with a pen, but I mean, I guess Lionel did that, I don't know, but on the hopper. If you notice, there's no printing either. It's kind of weird. Yep, no printing. Anyways, that's the hopper. 92.13 on it. And let's see, here is the uh, cattle car. Lionel Lines 9408 cattle car. Now this is made off of the post-war one. On this side it says circus. You know, circus something. But yeah, this is a post-war one. Anyways, you got any printing? Nope. 9408. And no printing. Anyways, that's the circus car. I'm trying to hurry for my video guys here and let's see here's the um, tank car which is a Seneca or black one so that's kind of cool I've got a ton of the uh, silver post-war Senecos this probably does everybody else so it's nice to have a black one but 9138 is the number on this one yep, pretty cool and let's see here is the Airy Lackawanna box car. Famous name collector series car. Boy, that's a pretty box car. Blue. Yeah, this this set has die cast sprung trucks on the whole thing too, so that's cool. I always like that because it adds a little weight to these cars, you know. So ninety seven twenty six is the number on that one. Yeah, I'd like to have that car there. That's a nice car. Yeah, best in Lake Erie. Pretty cool. Man, I love the printing on these boxes. So cool. Alright, the next one should be the Bay Window Caboose. And here is the Bay Window Caboose. Minneapolis St. Louis Red, White, and Blue Caboose. Boy, that's a pretty caboose. Man, January of 78. Wow. No printing. Yeah, 9271. And it's awesome. But anyways, this is a box. 1978 Service Station Special Limited Edition Set by Lionel, Minneapolis and St. Louis. 
And the number on the set is 6-1868. You guys want to get it. But anyways, that's the set. The engine, five cars. Pretty cool. Well, like I said, I'll do a uh, video here after I upload this one, of a running video of it. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. This is Ron's Trains and More. Out. I've added patent systems to run my electric locomotives.